very happy to welcome you all here today. It's great to see so many people here for Live uh, 19 um, in this great, great venue. So we've got uh, a couple of uh, really good days planned today. So this afternoon is going to be um, uh, more uh, presentation and updates, and then uh, tomorrow uh, workshops where you're going to have to do uh, uh, some of the work. So, but this afternoon you can you can take it easy. Uh, and, uh, and, and listen to some of the things we have to say, but obviously we want, can have questions and discussion uh, today. So what we wanted to do this afternoon was, uh, uh, was, was set the scene. Uh, before getting started with that, though, I wanted to just touch on the fact that uh, this is actually the uh, 20th Crossref annual meeting. So they've, they've changed over the years, but we've, we've had 20 of them, but we uh, officially turn uh, 20 um, if we count from the date of incorporation of Publishers International Linking Association uh, in January, uh, January 18th, 2000. So in January, you know, we can count that. So we're looking at next year as, as being the year that, 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 we, uh, turn, uh, that we turn 20. So that's a very exciting milestone. And we thought a great uh, time to uh, have a meeting like this that was much more interactive and um, uh, bringing together uh, the, our community uh, to, to have some discussions about where Crossref is, but you know, where we're going uh, for, the, um, uh, for the future. So I did want to just take a little, just to uh, annoy Ginny a little bit, take a little bit of a trip down memory lane. Um, and this is the, the original Crossref website. I got this from the Wayback Machine. And this was from November uh, 9th, uh, 2000. And you can see here that uh, things have changed uh, a lot uh, since, uh, since then. And um, we uh, have much better uh, looking website uh, for, for, for one. But you'll notice in here with some of the statistics that we've got, um, uh, there are 50 publishers participating in Crossref at the time, 3,000 journals with about 1.9 million article records in the database. We're now over 109 million uh, items, uh, over 11,000 members, and uh, so, so we've come a long way uh, from here in uh, uh, many, many different ways, uh, not least with the, um, with the logo. But if anybody has that old logo on mugs and things, they're collector's items, so keep a hold of them. <laughs> Don't throw them away. Um, but I did also want to highlight that uh, of course, Crossref wouldn't have been uh, possible without the uh, foresight and commitment of the original, uh, original founders. And, you know, um, we're going to be talking a lot about change today and tomorrow. And, you know, when you look at um, the list of the founding organizations, what we've done is those, uh, we've listed each one that was separate at the time, but now we can see that there's been some mergers and consolidation. So uh, we had a, a number of societies, a number of different publishers, but we can see here that, you know, especially with uh, uh, Clear Academic, Springer, Nature, they're, they're together, Wiley and Blackwell, Elsevier and Academic Press, and so that's, that's just a, a demonstration of uh, what's, what's been happening uh, ev even uh, many years ago, but only, only accelerating in terms of the change that's, uh, change that's happening. Uh, the other thing then is looking at the, the board at the time, because of course today a key part of our, our meetings is to have the election for the board. So we have one member, one vote. It's about uh, governance and you know, maybe some of the, uh, the old timers here will recognize uh, many of these people. But on the right here, of course, we've got two leading uh, people uh, in the founding of, of Crossref, uh, Eric Swanson and Peter Bowman. Um, and then uh, we have the original uh, board of directors for that uh, first year. Uh, on, on the other side, so so really, um, uh, these organizations and people really got stuff going for Crossref, and so uh, I just wanted to uh, uh, to yeah acknowledge that and uh, and their and their con contributions. And um, uh, with that, no more of the old logos. Uh, on to um, uh, this meeting. So this meeting is different. In the past uh, years, the live meetings have been uh, more. Traditional conferences, you know, we've had up, updates from Crossref and and external speakers, uh, but but we wanted to uh, do do something different with this uh, with this meeting, and so um, uh, it's a workshop. It's a chance for you to have your say. Um, 
Crossref's at a, at a turning point. As I said, we're coming up on our 20th year, so it's a really good time to, to reflect on things. Uh, scholarly research and communications is uh, rapidly changing. Uh, the data that we're going to be looking at this afternoon and the value research show that things have, have changed. Uh, we want to have uh, more conversations, more discourse, and uh, everybody here is uh, here to help shape the next phase. But also we wanted to emphasize that you're here to talk to each other as well, right, and, and have some discussions. And uh, we've um, invited specific uh, people as well, and tomorrow you'll be on uh, assigned uh, uh, tables, so a little bit like a, a wedding, but there won't be any... Um, any music or, or dancing, thankfully. Uh, but if you want to, uh, uh, that's the hashtag <coughs> for, the, uh, for the meeting today. And so I thought I'd just give a quick overview of the, um, uh, the agenda. So, so coming out of the, the, there's a lot of outputs from the workshop tomorrow that we're going to, and we'll put together a report. And this output is going to be used by Crossref as an organization going forward. Um, uh, the, bo uh, the board is going to be looking at this as well. Um, and so, um, We've got uh, uh, the, the kickoff here at the moment. Then we're going to be uh, Ginny, hearing from Ginny about the, the value of uh, the perceived value of Crossref through the Value Research Project, a major project we've undertaken this year. Uh, you'll hear from me again about strategic uh, scene setting, and then we're going to hear from uh, some of our members in some talks. Then and then we have the um, uh, governance and, and board election, um, and then a quick introduction to the workshops, and then uh, a reception. And then tomorrow, as I said, this is a, a chance for, uh, for you guys to, to talk and uh, uh, do some work. And uh, yeah, and then we'll have a uh, report back after each session and then and follow up and, and, uh, and next steps. So um, that is um, uh, what we're going to be doing. Uh, before then, I also wanted to just note uh, uh, some of the uh, attendees at this meeting. So uh, I'm going to ask... Uh, a couple of different uh, groups I'm going to ask to sort of stand up and just kind of say hello, because uh, uh, I think, again, we want, we want to have uh, conversations. So first of all, uh, there are a number of Crossref staff here. None of this would be possible without the Crossref staff. So if all the staff could stand up, and their badges are marked with staff, so we know who you are. OK, great. Well, thank you. <laughs> so they'll be out and about and contributing. and. Tomorrow they won't all be sitting on the same table. So, <laughs> um, I'd also like to highlight that we have a, a very uh, a successful uh, ambassador program. So we have ambassadors from uh, Nigeria, Indi India, Ukraine, Uzbekistan, and some other countries. So, if all the uh, ambassadors who are here could please could please stand up, and people can <laughs> right. Great. Thank you. We're. We're really looking forward to, uh, to your contributions. Uh, and then we also have um, uh, board members here. Uh, so if I could ask any board members who are here to please uh, be upstanding. Thank you. Very well. So. Uh, great. Thank you. So uh, also, in, uh, I'll just quickly cover some of the materials we have uh, here uh, today. Uh, one is a little Join the Dots booklet. So if you you know, this afternoon, if things are a little slow, you can uh, while away the hours. But a um, couple of the key inputs here that we're going to be uh, diving into a little bit more detail uh, this afternoon. First off is uh, uh, the fact file. So we not only rethought the meeting, but we wanted to rethink the annual report. So we have the fact file here, uh, which has um, uh, got space in it for jotting down notes, and uh, it's got data in here, and so this is, this is uh, one of the things that we'll be using. We've, we've got it available with a DOI. <laughs> and um, I'd like to thank everybody who contributed to this. I uh, got it pulled together over the last um, um, couple of weeks. And um, so yes, thank you to all the contributions for that. I think it'll be really useful. Um, we also have the strategic roadmap, um, which is also in the fact file, also on the website. So. Um, uh, so that's going to be uh, important to take a look at, uh, and also uh, the value, uh, the value research, uh, the report of survey, uh, a survey and interviews uh, about the value of, of, of Crossref, and um, that's really, um, uh, really important. So um, yes, I will just say, again, uh, in. 
pulling all this together, I just really want to say a thanks to our brilliant staff. Um, and uh, they're really fantastic, and none of this would be possible without them. So, uh, you know, please talk to staff, talk to each other, and uh, I think we'll have a good, good couple of days. So with that, I will hand over to, uh, to Ginny to talk about the, the value research. Thank you.